Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm making a tablescape and I'm going to be using the Royal Albert Old Country Roses. This print should be familiar to a lot of people, but if it's not, it's basically beautiful, simple white china with some roses and some gold tones to it. It's usually on the edging. It's very pretty. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make bouquets. I am somebody who is less is more when it comes to tablescapes. So I did get some beautiful roses. When using this china, I find that spray roses like this work the best. I'm not sure why, but I think it's just the elegance and because they're small, they just fit into the actual design of the flowers really well. For those who are not familiar, I wanted to show you the print up close. It has a maroon, a pink, and a yellow flower, and that pretty much repeats throughout the whole uh, china set. I'm also going to be using two of these little vases. They are very pretty, and I love the elegant detail on them. The bouquets themselves are not going to be difficult. I'm basically going to spread what I have here throughout the three vases. But I did want to talk about what I did when I brought them home yesterday. I grabbed a pot and just poured some cold water in a big pot and then I would grab each of the roses and you know I just grabbed them as a bundle put them under the water and actually cut them on a 45 degree angle. And just so you can see, this is how I cut them. That's pretty much the most important thing you can do when bringing any flowers home. Second thing is you wanna make sure whatever vase you're using is squeaky clean. The last thing you need is some bacteria from you know the previous flowers you had infecting these flowers because that's basically what makes the flowers wilt faster is bacteria. Speaking of bacteria, when you choose the flower and how far you want it to go, you want to make sure that no leaves are in the water. So just take those off. All my vases have water in them and the water is mixed with the little uh, powder packet that you get with the flowers themselves. And uh, this water does too. So I am just going to start. They're just so beautiful. These spray roses, by the way, I also make potpourri and I love using these spray roses for potpourri because they just, they dry really nicely and they are small and adorable. Oh, I love using those. And here is what I have for my beautiful bouquets. I have the big one and then the two little ones. And now let's go set the table. To start this tablescape, I'm using a white linen tablecloth that I got at Home Goods, and then I'm going to use this runner. I got this runner from someone who was going out of business for decorating, and I got it for five bucks, which was a great deal, but it is a long 120 inch runner, so it's going to hang over a little bit on the side, but that's all right. Next come the chargers, and the chargers I'm going to use are these rose gold ones. And this is going to go perfect because I'm actually setting up a tea party. So this would just be very elegant for, you know, ladies night and things like that because it's very feminine with the rose gold. I had my runner pretty centered, but this would be a great time to make sure that your runner is in the center because after you put your chargers on, that's where you kinda see if you're really off with the runner. I'm using the dinner plates almost as decorative because this is for a little tea party, so I'll be using the salad plates as my main plates. But I did want to show you the china in case you haven't seen these. And as I said, this is Old Country Roses by Royal Albert. And it's just so beautiful. Next, I'm going to bring in my napkins and these are just so gorgeous. They're this 
beautiful dark pink and they are really good quality. I get these on Amazon. I will link them in my description box. They are just going to be so perfect with these dishes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about two, three inches, fold it in the back of the plate and have this part hang off. Don't worry about the crease right here because we are putting a salad plate right on top or in our case, the salad plate is going to act as our dessert plate. On top, I'm putting these dessert plates. Next, we have the teacup and saucer. Look at the elegant detail on the teacup and the saucer, so, so beautiful. I mean, the handle itself is just unbelievably beautiful. Next, I'm going to grab these ginormous uh, wine glasses and they're so big, they can be used as water goblets, really. And these are from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. And I'm going to put them in the corner right here between my plate and my cup and saucer in case someone wants to drink something other than the tea. Next, I'm going to be using some silverware from Gorham, and all I'm going to be using is a little teaspoon and a little fork because, as I said, this is a tea party. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross them a little bit and tie them together with a little ribbon. Just make a bow, and if you don't know how to do a bow, then just tie it uh, in a knot or just, just tie it loosely. And that is what it's going to look like. I'm going to put that right on top of the plate. And now it's time to finish off the center of the table. When using a runner that's kind of strong, meaning in your eyes with all that sparkle, what I like to do is bring some of the tablecloth back into the runner. Here's what I mean. I grab a ribbon and believe it or not, this is from the Dollar Tree. This is a white grow grain ribbon with a green little uh, stripe going through it. And the green stripe is going to match the actual greenery in the dishes. So it's going to be perfect. And I'm just going to run it across the center of my runner. Now I'm grabbing my big vase, putting it in the center, make sure that my ribbon's really in the center because the vase is going to keep it down. Next, I'm bringing in these candle holders and I use these as risers. They're from Home Goods. Let me see if I can get the price on this one. They were $7.99 and they vary in size. They go up to $12.99 before it actually becomes a cake stand. But you can use this for cake, you can use this for anything, but uh, I do use it as a riser. On top of my riser, I'm going to put one of these dessert plates or salad plates, and I would not recommend putting anything bigger than um, the actual, you know, this is maybe like an inch and a half. If I would have used the dinner plate, you just risk people reaching over and knocking the plate down with, you know, the dessert. But when it's small like this, you just put your little desserts on top and it's going to look beautiful. Here is my dessert that I'm putting on the table. Next, I'm grabbing the little vases that we made and I'm going to put those on the sides of the table. My sugar and creamer are going to go on the other side of our main vase here. I feel like the table is full. It has more than enough. 
It has the beautiful desserts, the flowers, and it's ready for some chit chat with my friends. Next, you're going to see some close-ups of the tablescape with some beautiful music. I hope you enjoyed these types of videos. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more and more tablescape. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and of course the little bell so you're notified every time a video comes out. Now, let's get to the close-ups.